what these new spaces will allow us to do is show not only paintings that were famous 100 years ago, but to give greater and more appropriate spaces to um, whole areas which have previously been ignored at the museum, not only the 19th century oil sketches, the, the outdoor painting, but Orientalism, the European look at North African and Muslim life. We have great paintings by Jérôme and Chasserio and Giraudet uh, showing North Africans in their colorful costumes and uh, the way of life that was so different from what Europeans were experiencing at that time. We'll have an entire gallery devoted to that, and thanks to Kenneth J. Lane, who is an important collector in this area, we'll have a number of new works on loan in this gallery to give a, a comprehensive display of Orientalist paintings, which was one of the most important genres at mid-19th century. We're going to be able to display British, Russian, Polish, German paintings from the 19th century, which haven't been on view for 50 years. And finally, we'll be able to bring early 20th century modern paintings by Vuillard, Bonnard, Modigliani, Chagall, Soutin, even Picasso and Matisse, to complete the 19th century as it worked its way through the 20th century, uh, thereby liberating space in the Lila Atchison Wallace Wing for more modern material because time continues to march on. All art was contemporary at some moment, and we're constantly reshuffling, reintegrating, reconceiving our installation of what has always been modern art here at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So in the end, we're going to have a third more space, 40,000 contiguous square feet of 19th century and early 20th century European painting, primarily French. But I think visitors to these new galleries and seeing this new installation will see a much more accurate representation of the history of art in Europe, and especially as it unfolded in Paris. Whole groups of paintings which previously have been ignored in our installations, like the plein air painting, like Orientalism. The decorative arts will be integrated. We're going to be including sculpture. We have this extraordinary wisteria room that we will show to give an insight into this moment in decorative arts, the Art Nouveau period. So visitors will be able to see many more of our great masterpieces and have a more complete and, I think, accurate understanding of how the history of art progressed in Europe in the 19th century.